Hey there, it's Colin Smith from PhotoshopCafe.com and today I'm going to show you how to match color across different video clips very easily. One of the things I love to do is fly drones and you can see, you know, here's a couple of my drones, the Mavic 2 Pro being my current favorite. And one of the things I like to do is shoot a lot of video with my drone, but sometimes the colors are actually very often the colors are going to be very different, particularly if I'm mixing and matching with different cameras. So I'm going to be using Premiere Pro to show you guys how to match that color automatically. It's a really great feature. Now, the first thing I need to do is get the footage off the cards or internally on these drones. And the way I do it is by using this here. This is the DJI Copilot by Liz C and I did a review on it. You can check that out in the link underneath. I love this because it's portable, um, it's weather sealed, and I can just pop this off and then I can either put the card in or I connect this directly to the drone and just push a button and it backs up all the footage onto this drive. But then when I come back to the studio and I want to work, all I need to do is just plug in this USB cable here. It could be USB-C, USB-3, and just plug it into my machine and then I can just transfer the footage over, which is what I've done here. So now we're gonna be working in Premiere Pro. Now, if you don't have Adobe Premiere Pro, when you get the Copilot, you get two months free of the entire Creative Cloud, so you can experiment and play around with it. So let's jump into Premiere right now and look at the color match. So here's some shots that I did on another trip when I was in Hawaii, and we can see we've got here this beautiful waterfall shot We've got this nice forest shot, and here's a music video I was working on. Um, you can see the clips of that, and then just another clip we were doing here, and then another beautiful waterfall. But notice the colors in these are quite different between them, so we want these to match, particularly this one. You can see that's a log. All I need to do is just simply go on here. I'm going to select the clip, the very first clip, and then we want to make sure we go to the color workspace, and then we're going to go to color wheels and match. And you'll see this little option here that says comparison view. If I turn this on, it's going to show you the reference and the currently selected clip. The reference, of course, is our clip that we're working off. So if we want to look at other clips, we can simply just move this around. And notice as we're doing that, we can see other clips here. All right, so let's look at this one. I'm just going to make sure I'm selecting the one on the top. And the reason I've got two is so I can show you a before and after. And then what I want to do is just simply click apply match. And notice that the colors get moved over. Let's do the same thing over here. Here's the difficult one. This was shot in log on an Inspire 1. Completely different drone. Apply match. And boom, we've got that nice green there. Uh, same thing here. This was shot on, once again, a different one. Apply match. And let's grab this last one, the waterfall. Do the same thing and that's it so if we look at this now let's go out of comparison view and we can do that just by simply clicking here and just to let you know if you want to work on comparison view inside the program monitor just hit the little plus button here and you'll see that's comparison there and you just simply drag that from there into our toolbar and it's going to be available and we can look at it anytime all right, so if we look at this now, I'm just going to scrub through just quickly so you can see these clips are much more, you know, matched. If I turn it off, here we go before. See, they're all over the place. And then after, they look much more uniform. All right, so I'm sure you can see how this feature can really save you a lot of time in color grading, and it gets me about 80 to 90% of the way there. Once you've applied the color match, you do want to go into the individual clips and make sure you fine tune them using the Lumetri panel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button right now. Add a comment underneath. Let me know what you think about this feature, and also, um, do you find color grading something difficult to do? Is this something that's going to help you? Let me know in the comments underneath. Don't forget to subscribe to Photoshop Cafe. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.